Should we do our intro all together, like we said? Yeah. 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 Ready? Okay. Ready? Three, Three on. two, one. What's, What's good, good, everybody? everybody? Welcome <laughs> Aaron. Back. Aaron like, did not welcome nail good. that. <laughs> welcome good. Welcome good. Welcome good. Okay. The, to me, this feels oh, so Oh, God. Low. Good <laughs> grief. Let me show you how to use the microphone. All right. Mike is walking over to this. Matt, you fixing his. Oh, there just... he goes. See, goes that's too low. Yeah, How's he that? knows. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah, yeah. You want it higher up? You want to sit higher? No, that's good. Right there. Right now we there. Up. There you go. There we go. Now don't. It's don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. <laughs> Stop it. All right. Today's episode is about hometowns. Where are you from? What was it like? Is there anything interesting in your hometown? Um, who's famous from your hometown? Do you still live in your hometown, or did you move out to the big city? Did you move to a different country? Yeah. What, what let's just uncover it all because i think like and maybe you grew up with a lot of different hometowns and that's totally fine you are more than welcome to participate in this conversation <laughs> with us um we definitely grew up in but we different felt like this, hometowns oh yeah for sure all from <laughs> All across the country, I'm so interested to hear our perspectives. And we chose this topic because maybe right now you are in your hometown visiting for the holidays. You're mm -hmm. on your way to your hometown visiting. Um, so what uh, what more what more better of a topic <laughs> than to reflect on uh, this? Grown than... up in the hometown. Yeah. So hometowns. Let's dive into it. Who wants to? Uh... Well, I guess we should like say exactly where we're from in case people don't know. Let's mm -hmm. front up a little more. I don't know how it drops. Yeah. You didn't tighten it enough. I thought I did. I think you might have pulled it down. <laughs> I did. I didn't Roll the tape back. <laughs> Roll You're going to see in that last clip. It's just like, <laughs> the whole time. Okay, so that, that looks better. Just, just trying to be. No blaming each other. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if it even caught down audio. I think it did. No, it did. It okay. for sure did. It was just kind of low. It's just. Hey, Do you ever notice when people like set up their phones to like film, it just like moves? <laughs> yeah. But you're like, how is it moving? Because it's like on a book or something and it's like just slowly sliding. Yeah, or yeah. like against a wall and it's like slowly i do notice that yeah all right so where's everybody from carly i'm from omaha uh, matter of fact where's everybody from <laughs> Wait, what <laughs> you know that where's tiktok from? From? no wow. where are you from oh i know that one matter of fact where's it sorry matter of fact, where's everybody from do you know it no idea yeah, I don't it's know. It's pretty funny. Different feeds, It's different like when people. you've been dating your girlfriend for three months and she finally shows you all her personalities. It's like, where are you from? Matter of fact, where's, where's everybody, everybody from? from? Oh. I'm so okay, lost. Okay, well, you know, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> sometimes TikTok sounds are harder to explain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha. Born and raised. Born and raised. <laughs> Omaha proper. Yes. See, where I did thought you, you think were, I was from? Grand I thought Island? Were, I thought you were from the Omaha area. Like... What's the difference? Well, I guess I guess Omaha must be smaller. Since I'm from Dallas, like I think people go, Oh, I'm from Dallas, but you're really from like a particular oh, I see. area. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were like in the Omaha oh, city yep. city. Like I'm when a, you I'm write your address. Rural. It's like so yep, interesting Omaha. though. When I went there, I was like, Oh, like there's not like a from what I saw, like the areas we went to, there's not like skyscrapers, really. Yeah, like, the we're... skyline flying in is really sad. There's a couple yeah. of tall buildings and that's pretty much it. Oh. Yeah, and like Carly lives in a neighborhood that's like, or lived, sorry. <laughs> She's, she no longer lives there. <laughs> um, it, it was so interesting to me, like f being from like where I'm from and like seeing other parts of the country, like neighborhoods, they had like names on them. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then they were like little communities. Yeah, like mine was called Nelson's Creek. <laughs> the buildings have names on no, them? No, like, like the subdivisions? Yeah, like was mine like was Nelson's entrance. Creek, and then there's one really close called Diamond Head. Well, yeah, that's how, it, that's oh, how okay. it's like right from. I, I, suburbs, live some, yeah. I live in oh. Sumner. Not for me. No, same. Oh, Summer Oaks. Sumner. 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 Final clubs, yeah, not TJ. finals clubs. Well, TJ, when I went to Park City, his was like that too. But oh. I was like, oh, that is not what it was like for me. It's like very Americana, right? Where it's like you just see the name of the thing. There's a you drive yes. through. Yeah. What was yes. your suburb? Uh, we didn't have like a name because oh. New Jersey, where I'm from, is the most densely populated state in the country, meaning there's more people per square mile than anywhere else in the country. Jeez. So New Jersey has a lot of different. You basically can get like everything of America. There's mountains. There's like Southerners in New Jersey near the Pennsylvania border. Um, there's the beaches, there's mountains, we have city life like right next to New York City. I was in the dead center. Uh, I grew up in a town called Twin Rivers. Oh, wait, yeah. isn't that a casino? It might be. <laughs> Twin Rivers Casino. That sounds Literally. like it might be. 
Where is that? So we weren't even yeah. on the map. It's like right in the middle of New Jersey. I think you're from Freehold. No, no, no. I moved to Freehold <laughs> in high school. Oh, okay. I grew up, though, in Twin Rivers. That's where I like. That's oh. his hometown. Yeah, that's my hometown. Yeah, but it's all in the same area, but yeah. Where's Twin Rivers? Sorry, I'm not going to be able to stop thinking about this. <laughs> about the casino? Are there, are there yeah. Twin Rivers? No, I don't think so. There's lakes, which is that was the joke. There's two man-made oh. lakes on either side. Are the lakes fun? Can you go out and like... Uh, you can't go in them, but there would always be <laughs> ducks in them. And Why can't you go in them? Because they're like dirty. They're Did not like... Know. Could you live on the lake? Kind of. There's people that have like houses on the lakes, yeah. They're like full-time house on the lake. I yeah. always think it's so interesting when people have houses like on a lake, but like all year round. But it's not like, dude, the lake is maybe, it's like the size of a few swimming pools. You you could see your neighbor. You could shout to your neighbor from one side of the lake to the other. So a pond? Yeah, more of a pond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Cute. But it didn't have like the, that's always fun when you see the, the town has a, a sign at the front as if it's like in a movie. You yeah. just drive through and you hear the music playing. Oh, you don't have, you didn't even have a sign? Like now think, entering? No, no. It was oh like off God. a highway. No, yeah. Sad. Were your hometowns old towns uh -huh. or did they like, or were they very new or did they like peak in the 70s and 80s? Like, Well, I'm from New England. <laughs> oh, that's historic. <laughs> peaked that's in the 70s. Yeah. My fun, no celebrities coming from here, but I do have a lot of history to share with oh, you guys. God. I can only um, imagine. But on the way here, Matt was trying to figure out the name of my hometown. Ashton. No. Close. Ashburg. No. no. It's not. I'd Ash see, Cliff. I uh, think like Disney. <laughs> Asheville? No. Ash. Ashworld? <laughs> Ashland. Yeah. Ashland. Yeah, Ashland, yeah. That's it. Ash God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm from Ashl Ashland. Ash and Credit Coast. Ashland. Ashland. <laughs> Ashland, Massachusetts. So it's like a central point. Like I'm like 30 minutes outside of Boston. So central Aaron Massachusetts. Would be the person that's like, I'm from Boston, outside of Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Because no one's ever heard of. Ashland, yeah. Massachusetts. What was the biggest like industry? Is it like a town where like I don't know a lot of longshoremen live, or like, <laughs> like I'm just trying to picture like <clears throat> just your standard kind of suburb. Or were there a lot of people in your town who like grew up in the town? Yes, my mom. I grew up in the house my mom grew up in. Whoa! That's oh right. yeah, that is really crazy. Yeah. So she and moved like from... her neighbor was her neighbor growing up. Like it's very Whoa. very small town vibes, <laughs> and so like they that... knew every like. Everyone in the town, like the guy on the corner grew up with my mom. Like it was very like that. That's so interesting because it's like, I want to go, what a weird coincidence. But no, <laughs> is that like kind of normal in your town where like mm -hmm. people, but what is it about a town that keeps people like there. there and in the same house? Yeah. I know. I don't know. So she moves from the childhood bedroom to the parents' bedroom. She must have. Do you, does your mom have like little etchings like? She's like Melinda, house. sixty-eight. <laughs> so is your it was bedroom? A good summer. <laughs> so it was like your bedroom, her bedroom, growing up. I don't know because she had three siblings. Oh, or two, two. There was three of them total. So I don't really know. I feel like at one point she probably told me, but I do not remember. So that did so you move weird. at all when you were growing up? Nope. Didn't move one time. Mm -mm. Wow. I think I moved eight times, like Jeez. between until before I got to college, I had moved like eight times. Like eight? Houses, yeah. But you still went to the same schools. Uh, yeah, because it my it was just kind of bouncing around like in the same area of New Jersey. Holy shit! Yeah. Wow. So I grew up for in tax Tw reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Evading. Um, yeah, that's wild. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> I was talking about this with someone else that I think uh, in life there's like three things that are supposed to be really traumatic. It's getting fired from your job. Getting divorced and moving are like three of the big traumas that adults face. Not and not like crimes of like murder or stuff like that, yeah, but yeah. you know, things that you go through are so traumatic. And I've moved so many times that for me, like it's not that big of a deal. But we moved, yeah, like in Twin Rivers, I moved in, I think, two or three different houses just in that small little town. Because from I, what ages? Like, well, I mean, I'm the oldest of four. So as my family grew, like, you know, oh, over those few years, we had okay. one brother, then two brother, then three brothers. I think you were better. Yeah. I mean, it was the 90s. <laughs> there, were, there was no like parent, like self-help stuff in the 90s. Yeah. There was no. There were like free ball in it. Yeah. They just had no, like. <laughs> no Google. Yeah. yeah. No Google. You <laughs> oh, just you go home and watch the news. Like there was a fire in Oklahoma last night. And it's like, all right, I guess I'll raise our kids now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> yeah, like there was no, you know. Yeah. Just, yeah. Um, um, and so we just moved to uh, one house and then 
And then when I got to high school, we moved to a different town. That's when I moved to the Freehold area. Oh. Okay. When I moved to high school. Do yeah. you remember all of the homes you lived Every in? Every single one. I know all the Whoa. addresses. I remember all the phone numbers. Dang. Phone yeah. numbers. Phone numbers. You had to get a different phone. You remember eight different phone numbers? No, we didn't get eight different phone numbers. You could transfer them. Some <laughs> so of them yeah, transferred. That's traumatic in itself. Yeah. yeah. Like phone so numbers not... when you were a kid. Also, you didn't need to remember all 10 digits because back then you just only needed the last seven because the area code was always the same. Oh, yeah. Do you guys remember this... your home phone number? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me Should too. we say it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, call, call in, see what happens. happens. Uh, my parents don't have a home phone anymore, but I don't know, for security reasons. For security Wait, purposes. But does, okay, right. this may sound so dumb, but doesn't the idea of it being the 90s and you have to move to a new house, but you still keep the same number sound so complicated? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, how did they move the number well, actually, to a different house? No. It, like... I don't think so because it's so easy when you move to like change your gas account to like the new place or like water bill to the new place. I feel like it's but kind of the same thing. But it's a credit card, but it's a phone line. Like, yeah. How was the phone line? Like, was the receiver? <laughs> you, did you did register? Do you have to the bring receiver the receiver? The number? No, I don't no. Know. It's in the line of the of the house. There's like a phone line, and then at probably the, just set it up I, at uh, the phone yeah, yeah, company. Yeah. They flip the switch. All right. Yeah, nice. it's like when you move in, stay... do utilities. <laughs> My house was so old that in the basement oh, we still had one of those phones. rotary phones. Yeah. <gasps> those are so. Did it work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whoa. that's really cool. My aunt had one too, and you, all it's the same plug. Yeah. You plug it in. You press the things and it works. Yeah. Who is the most famous person from your hometown? Me. Uh, Warren Buffett, I think. Oh, oh yeah. It's Ooh. Omaha. Yeah. yeah. Did your parents I... know uh, Warren uh, back in the <laughs> Yeah, great friends. Uh, <laughs> I'm in his will, so <laughs> see you later, guys. Um, uh, I actually have a list of famous people. There's a lot of famous people from Omaha. I don't think there's anyone famous from Twin Rivers, but, but yeah. you went to high school with... Cal Penn, who was uh, Harold and Kumar. That was the most famous guy that went to my high school. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. He was just in a show or a movie I just watched. Cal Penn? Yeah. I feel like he went to do activism after those movies. And he like works in D.C. He worked for Obama. I just watched a movie and he was in it. And I was like, I was like, was it Harold and to, Kumar? He went to Mike's high school. No. <laughs> <laughs> he went to Mike's high school. <laughs> I already went over all of that. But New Jersey and... has like a billion famous people. Like if you go to the Wikipedia list of famous people from New Jersey, yeah. it is the, probably the longest list on Wikipedia. It's unbelievable. Chelsea Handler. John Stewart, Bruce I mean, Springsteen. Boston's pretty big too. Boston has a lot. Yeah. Matt or Massachusetts. Damon, Brad Pitt. Yeah. Obama. Jim, Mindy, <laughs> Ryan. Who? All their, all their fake names. <laughs> well, Mindy's name is real. Who, what um, are you talking about? John Krasinski. Mindy Kaling. Oh, everyone from The Office is from Boston? Steve Carell. J, uh, Novak, right? And BJ Novak. BJ Novak yeah. and John Krasinski knew each other in elementary school, mm -hmm. right? They were Jake this... Novak from... BJ I want to be the next... BJ Novak. Oh, oh, oh. Novak. <laughs> Jake Novak. I, I, like, I want to be the next <laughs> SNL <laughs> cast member. I was like, yeah. okay. We need to get him on, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. I know, like, uh, different feeds, yeah. different people. I looked at you and I was like, okay, she doesn't know either. So, people in the comments will know who The she cringy is. SNL guy that, like, got super famous over the summer. He made a TikTok about wanting oh, to join SNL. Yes. No. And, and he got bullied him. into oblivion. No, they didn't. Oh, I, okay. I'm thinking someone made a TikTok. It was, like, really good. It was, like, a skit. And then they got hired to write for SNL. That's, please don't destroy. Sure, got yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, I do want to say the 38th president of the United States was from Omaha. Does anyone know who it is? 38th? Uh, 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 yes. It's FDR. No. Oh, uh, Teddy no. Roosevelt. No, George Washington. No, that's the <laughs> yes, first. Yes, I know. Uh, <laughs> no, he's he was the really nice guy, right? Do you want a hint? Yeah. Yes. No. Think of cars. Henry Ford. Henry Ford. Close. Chevy. Carter. <laughs> Chevy Chase. No, Jimmy Carter. <laughs> no. John Chrysler. <laughs> Ford was right. Ford. Ford? Yes. Gerald Ford. Yes. Oh, Ger good old Jer. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know much about <laughs> Gerald Ford. I know. I'm like Alexander Payne. Who? Alexander Payne. He's a director. Okay. Maybe I just know his name because I'm from Omaha. Is that not like a no oh, name? Oh, I thought Alexander Payne was a president. I'm like, I've <laughs> oh. never heard of that in my life. I was like, Jesus, Matt. Like, I need to go back, back to, to school. school. <laughs> Marlon Brando. Oh, that's good. From The Godfather. He's from Omaha? Yeah, some yeah. of those actors are like, like uh, Johnny Depp is from Kentucky. Some Whoa. of those old school actors are just from Is it Brad Pitt from like Kickapoo? <laughs> yeah, he's Kick from, he's from Louisiana, I think. <laughs> Somewhere in, in the middle of the country. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Um, was, there, was there any uh, town drama or any like big event that happened in your small town growing besides up? Besides the disappearance of Susan Smalley and Stacey Madison. I'm sorry, this come again? Two yeah. Girls, two girls went missing in um, my hometown. 
before I was born, late oh. 80s. Uh, sp- uh, it was the last day of spring break in 1988, I believe. These two girls. It was like the last night of spring break. I'm pretty sure it was like that Saturday or that Sunday. They go out um, just to go drive around in their 1967 Mustang. These like two best friends. And it's their senior year. Okay. They're going to be graduating in like a month or two. And they don't return. <gasps> And they found their car with uh, uh, their their denim jackets draped over uh, their purses and their their boom box. What? And they found it in a parking lot and they've never been found <gasps> since. And I've always been trying to do some research to figure it out. I've like, been asking. Solve it. There's so many different theories about a lot of people that think what happened to them. And I've I've been very interested in the case. And yeah. people like talked about it when you were growing up, right? Like it was a thing in the town uh, that people yeah, talk a, about. A little bit. But as I become an adult, because I have... Like, I listen to murder podcasts, and I just got really interested in cold cases in your own hometown. Yeah. And I found that one, and I just, like, hyper-focused on it. I bought a book that, like, somebody had wrote about it, and it's so interesting reading about a murder case that happened in your, in your hometown. hometown. So when they talk about intersections or where the car yeah. was found, you know exactly, exactly where it exactly is. Where it is. You go drive around and like do the route of how you oh, think the night weird. they were murdered. They found the bodies. No, they haven't found the bodies. Oh, so it's just a disappearance. What's the main theory? Uh, sex trafficking. <gasps> oh my god! In the 80s? And then, and then, but it went to like, but in that they were sex trafficked to Mexico. But I'm like, why are you sex trafficking in? Dallas, Mexico is so far away. Granted, I know a lot of sex trafficking cases are very different, and I'm not trying to deny <clears throat> anything about the likelihood of it happening. But yeah. for me, that doesn't make sense. Oh, sorry. And then, so that's one theory. Um, and then, or they were just sex trafficked somewhere else. But people think there was a chain of abductions that were happening in like the late '80s that I've noticed in the Dallas area with young girls like that. The thing is, is that they got into a car. And they left. They knew they were going to come back to their car. Right? Mm-hmm. You put jean jackets over your boom box. But why do you leave your purses? But you do it in the back seat. You know what I mean? So I feel like they were like. So they were like covering things so the car wouldn't get broken into. Correct. Kind of Got it. But why would you? But then I feel like w- drugs or like pot was involved. or that. Yeah. Because there is a thing where they drive <laughs> from Carrollton and then they go to Arlington and then they go back to Carroll. Then they go back to like <laughs> Preston, not Preston Hollow. Like park in Preston and Plano, and you're like, that's a a decent like fucking drive. You don't, but you're only in Arlington for ten or fifteen minutes. You went to go pick up some weed, I think, and then you came in, you got in a car with some dudes, you smoked or did some drugs, something Dang. went wrong. Unsolved things like that are so annoying. So it's like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, and Ugh. so I've been like, I was at like uh, my friend's wedding, or we were at like the rehearsal dinner. And then I was like sat at a table with some woman and she was like, oh, yeah, I went to like Newman Smith in like uh, 19, like 87. And I go, do you know Susan Smalley, Stacey Madison? And the look this woman gives me is like, how the hell yeah. do you know about this? And she goes, I, I, yeah. She goes, I wasn't friends with him, but my brother was. You should talk to him. Whoa. And so I'm like, yeah, I've been Weird. doing some slight research on it. It's very interesting. I wish I could start a whole podcast about it. Yeah, you're it. like the new serial but podcast. I, <laughs> but I don't have a lead. And, yeah. I do, and their and their parents now are like in their 80s. Like, that's how old these people are. Sad. And if you I were need never, to solve it before they die. Correct. Yeah. But I also don't want to create all this hype and media attention and deliver them nothing. <laughs> well, you're like, you literally sit in bed at night thinking, okay, well, like, if I did, <laughs> I'd create all this media hype and like, media that wouldn't hype. be good for them either. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what I do. Or you could do all of it and not release it until you figure it out and then release it weekly. I yeah, think when I go home for the holidays, I'm going to go like, you're going to go solve it. Drive around or conduct some interviews. Wow. I'll let you guys know. Some that inties. is pretty cool. Yeah. So that's any any weird like cold cases or, or haunted or, or well, legends in your town? I, I just have a really weird one. I found, I found out like right before I moved here, actually. So there's this bar called Krug Park in um, Omaha. It's technically like Benson area. So it's like a college area. That's where we were for mm-hmm. emo night. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's just like fun, hip, whatever. Yeah. So my friends and I would always go to Krug Park. It was like just the bar. Krug? That, yeah, K-R-U-G. Like Krug Park. Freddy Krueger? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. It already sounds like yeah, kind of creepy. And it was like a really cute bar, whatever. And I don't know what happened, but I was like, what's the history of this place? Or I feel like I remembered there was like a Krug Park um, 
amusement park or something. Oh. And so I looked it up and I was with my friend Matt and I was like, oh my God. I was like, there is an amusement park where this bar is and people died because of a uh, ride malfunction. So they got rid of the park and they built a bar. Oh my God. Yeah. How well, big is the bar? I mean, it's not that big. I'm sure like it was bigger than just the bar and they just, cause now it's all bars and shops. So I'm sure Whoa. back in the day it was like an amusement, some like a small amusement park. We but, had, yeah, yeah, there was something like that in New Jersey too. Action park. They made a movie about yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Class action park. Yes. That's such a good documentary. Yeah. Oh. And there's a steve movie about it or not uh, Steve-O, yeah. Johnny Knoxville, like yeah. where people would just die. It was in New Jersey in the seventies and people would just, you know about this? Yeah. Did you ever go to it? No, no, I think it closed before I was born. It was like from the 70s and it 80s, is, Oh, you're I think. not. So you were born in the 70s. No, I was not born in the 70s. <laughs> I tried watching the documentary, but then I turned it off. Not because it was like too explicit. It was just the idea. Like, I don't like happy was... places where bad things happen. Oh, it was I thought crazy. You like... No, it was like the most unhinged water park yeah. I, or whatever it was Theme I've park. ever seen in my entire life. Because I think just now it's like, how was this allowed? Like something, I remember there was something to do with people in this big ball in a ride and it like flew off and like bounced across <laughs> the interstate. Like, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. insane. Um, <laughs> did you watch it? No. You need to watch I, I, it. I know it's about really it. I've read a lot about it. Like, I knew about it growing up and then when the documentary came out, I was like, I think I already know everything about it. But yeah, if it's, you should watch it. It's if it's like, crazy, I'll watch it. Could it was you, ran by kids. Could you see like remnants of the amusement park at all? Like in. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I love going back to like old places that used to be something else, but are turned into something else. Like if that makes sense. Well, I have a story oh. about a bar in my town. Uh Oh, so it is like one of the only the main one of the main bars in our town it's called johnstone's Inn. it's since been renamed to stone's public house which johnstone's johnstone's Inn is much better and um it was purchased in it's been around like forever and then someone bought it and renovated it in like the 70s i believe and when they were renovating it they found a door to the basement and when they opened it they figured out that it was a part of the Underground Railroad. <gasps> wow. Whoa. And then they like realized like, oh, this was like a meeting place. Whoa. And so it's like still Harriet, standing. Harriet Tubman was here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but so Star. it is like rumored in our town that it is like extremely haunted. And I've been I've been to Johnstone's more times than I can count and like have had like weird experiences. Really? Like lights flicker all <gasps> the time. Like there's really like weird energy. Can you in go there. down there? <laughs> I mean, people who like work there do. I had friends who worked there. It's like the stock room now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're on the their Instagram story. Yeah. They just yeah. stacked underground railroad. The location. Yeah. Wait, I didn't know the underground railroad was a real underground railroad. No, it wasn't actually. There's not. There wasn't train tracks down there. It's like it's like tunnels. Yeah, yeah the tunnels, but not all of it. It's not one whole tunnel. No, no, no. It's just it was like it was more of a system of trust. Yeah, it's the term to like, like talk about. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, but that's cool. It's so not an interconnected go... system of like tunnels across the entire U.S. Yeah, that yeah, all yeah. connected, but it's. Whoa. Yeah. So if we went to that bar and we were like, "Can we go down yeah. there? We could go down there." Uh huh. Oh my wow. god! I have, there's like a picture on. I think my friend has it. Oh, it'll take. That me is crazy. To find, I feel like I'm growing sure. up on the East Coast must be so. Like, historic <laughs> no historic because like growing up in the midwest we would learn about all these things like where the declaration of independence was signed or like the one house school or one room school from kindergarten through yeah. college or whatever and you just don't think anything of it because you're so young and you're like mm -hmm. whatever i'm hungry <laughs> like i don't care about <laughs> yeah. history but like you guys got to go visit these places yeah, I'm like, oh, 20 minutes to plymouth rock let's yeah. go oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know like a national treasure where he like cuts open the brick and there's like the glasses i feel like there's all these hidden little <laughs> historic things in like the Boston area. Yeah, where you could like so piece together. I mean, everything. all of Massachusetts. There's just shit everywhere, and it's like so central to all the other places in New England that it's easy to go. Like our field trip in eighth grade was going to Washington D.C. and we drove there and oh, yeah, like stuff like that. Or wow. you going to New York City? Like I remember. Oh yeah, we did that when too. I got to college. Like there was kids who came from Chicago or somewhere else, like the South, and. We, you know, going to New York City, you just go for the night. And like the one of the first times we met, this kid was like, every Christmas movie I've ever seen has taken place here. And this is where all the movies that I love and like, that's the real building. And yeah. people just like freak out from seeing New York, like New York City is like the city. Yeah. But for us, we just take it. I mean, Boston, too. Like, you just take it for granted that people. So the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> that's favorite topic. <laughs> when you were younger learning about it, were you like, 
that was here. <laughs> like, I mean, that's yeah. fucking did, crazy. Did it's, you ever like, do you know the like the area where it happened? Yeah, I literally, in October, my best friend got married at the Intercontinental Hotel. And literally the view of the Intercon is the Boston Harbor. And there's the Boston Tea Party Museum. Like, I could look out my hotel window and the Boston Tea Party wow. Museum's right there. Wow. It's very fun. We should take a trip to Beantown. <laughs> I noticed none of us have, I don't think, accents from our hometown. Like, you don't have a Boston accent. You don't have a Southern yeah. accent. You don't have a Midwest accent. But I do have words. Like, little twang. You I have Matt a few has, words. Matt, out of all of us, I would say, is like... I get, like, twangy at times. Yeah. But you don't do I'll, your... I lean into, like, my Southerness at yeah. times. But, but like... if someone were to just hear you speak, they're not like, that's a Southerner. You're not like, hey, y'all, how you doing? What's going on? Right. Like, you don't do... <laughs> Patricia has a... Uh... Yeah. Patricia yes. has way yes. more. Oh, yes. oh, for sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think sometimes Aaron she... sometimes does. Like when you say certain words, certain yeah. words, but Aaron's not like full blown Boston accent. Oh my god, no, Hobbit, yeah. No. Well, <laughs> most of like no one I know. You didn't grow up hearing it, like our parents, but not like crazy like that. No, we're just like far enough outside of the city where it wasn't a thing. Is it in Thank Boston? God. The city is where you hear it the most. Mm-hmm. Mm. And like, but like other random places too that are like forty minutes away. I knew a friend who was from Boston and he like made a conscious effort when he got to college to drop the accent. Yeah. Because he realized he's just like, we just sound like idiots. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like very harsh. Yeah. Yeah. Some people can pull it off, but most of the can time. You, can you do one no. like organically? I was Does about it... to ask no. that. I'm not good at accents. Quarters. <laughs> <laughs> Quarters. Quarters. <laughs> Wait, what was it? Um, P- oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you say P S D S. Very quickly, it sounds like pierced ears in, in a Boston, Boston accent. accent. PSDS. PSDS. <laughs> Do you hear it? PSDS. 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 What's the one that's like razor blades? Yeah. <laughs> rise, rise up lights. Rise, oh. rise up lights. Rise up lights. R- rise up lights sounds like razor blades. Razor blades in an in, Australian. Oh. Yeah. Rise up lights. Rise up lights. And beer can sounds like bacon. Bacon in Jamaican. Beer can. Beer can. Wait. <laughs> You've never heard that? No, one? that's a real one. Beer can. Okay, I wanted to ask. Beer can. Beer can. Beer can. I don't know. I feel like I lost it. Uh, what were you about to ask though? Oh, I because Aaron and I always because we're together so much, she'll be like, "What did you just say?" And I oh, feel yeah. like I have a lot of words that like I don't know if any other people know people them. People know them. Yeah, outside of like the Midwest or Omaha. Like if. Take, for example, just a cute little one. Um, <laughs> if I said, oh, look at that circle. What would you think that I'm talking about? The shape of like a, a circle. A circle. A cute Say little. Say that we're like driving a car and I'm like, oh, look at that circle. Like a. Like I a have no idea drive? what that is. Or... Like a, wait, a what? Wait, what's a circle drive to you? A circle, uh, like a, uh, a, well, a circle drive is like if you in front of someone's house and it goes up like that. It's a driveway. That a cul-de-sac? Is in, no, that's oh. on the street. At the, I know what you're talking houses. A circle drive is like if a fancy. If you can pull up to someone's oh, like house, oh, like rich people. Drive. No, we would call cul-de-sac circles. Like, I didn't really call them cul-de-sac <laughs> cells older. So I'd be like, oh, yeah, my friend Alex lives in the circle down the street. Like, the so normal. Circle. <laughs> the circle. The yeah. circle. Yeah. We were in Palm Springs like a last month. And we, we were, were at the we, Don't Worry Darling House. Yeah, we house. went to the Don't Worry Darling House. and it's a, did? Yeah. yeah and it's a, cool. I found out that um, Phoebe's boyfriend's mom lives in that neighborhood oh yeah we talked about that there i think crazy Bridgers? I know. no <laughs> yes no. <laughs> um but yeah and so it was a cul-de-sac and carly was like we call these circles <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i'm from the circle down the street that sounds a little oh, i feel sorry for you cold dust you feel sack. sorry for me excuse cold me dust sack is one of the best Cul-de-sac. Things cul-de-sac. ever. I love it. It is pretty it's like fun to C-U-L-D-U-S-A-C. say. Well, D U S A C. Like you're like, what? What? Do you, what is the origin of that? Is it French? Is what it other Spanish? letters can be involved? Cul-de-sac, and it has two hyphens. Isn't it like hyphenated? I think yes, so. I wrote kind down. Of, that's a fun little word. Well, that's like we call a. I don't know what you guys call them, but I call it a rotary. Oh, a roundabout. Like a roundabout. Oh, yeah. Whoa. We call them what do you which call it? I feel like makes sense because what do you call the phones that you go in a circle? A rotary. Yeah, rotate, rotary. Mm-hmm. That Were makes you guys sense. In the rotary club? No. No. Oh. Do people I still join those? I got a scholarship from the rotary what club. What is a rotary club? It's like a uh what would you call it? like a civic 
duty kind of yeah it's uh, like a club a, where you volunteer raise money for your local community but yeah i was definitely not doing that i always see those signs you know in, in the town it's like, like a rotary cog. it's like it looks like a ship like a ship steering wheel yeah and they like have the, kind of these pillars of values and like they the hold... legion like, yeah I think american called, like, legion other, yeah yeah or like freemasons or something oh, this is why i want to do the dialect test because it's like it's gonna prompt so many different terms. You know, like I never knew what a roly poly was until I did yes. it. Yes. What did, did you call roly polies? Yeah, roly polies. What did you call? What them? do you call a little bug that rolls up into a ball? We did not have those. Yeah, I don't know if we. I think <laughs> yeah, roly poly makes sense. Them. We didn't Isn't have them. Weird? There's like different insects and in like yeah. different parts of the country. Yeah, like I know what that is sounds... your deal? <laughs> I knew it from the TV show. Roly poly oly. He's small and short and round. And in this world of twists and twirls, he's the roundest kid around. Yeah. Say roly. Roly, say hooray. Do you know what they're hooray. talking about? I mean, I've seen it, but I don't remember. Oh, I don't know what that Roly poly oly. Yeah. And or wait, what's, a, what's the other one? Like a median. Yes. Did, you guys call that something different. Did you have no, like I a, I had this thing called the clay pits in my town. Did you have anything like this? Like tar pits, but like. Well, they were called the clay pits and it was the rumor that you're not, you should never go there. And it's, you have to like take your bike, you have to cross the highway and it's in the woods and only the older kids could go Come there. Again, I had go. something like that, but it was the quarry. See, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah, that's this what my like... mind immediately went to when you were like places you weren't allowed to go. Yeah, like People in the East Coast. And yeah, they were bad. <laughs> and so they, what the rumor was is that that's where the KKK would have their meetings. <gasps> oh my god! And so as like the Jewish kids, we'd be like, "Well, we're definitely not going there." And like the non-Jewish kids that we were friends with would be like. Yeah, we heard the KKK is there too. Like it's so scary. Would they go? So we. We like heard about this and my parents had like heard us talking about it and uh, there was just one day where my dad was like we're all gonna go let's just go check it out and so my dad came with us he hopped on a bike oh my god and like me and my four brothers and like all it was like 20 of during us during the day yeah like in the middle of the day i think it was like on a saturday <laughs> or a sunday oh, they're not meeting during the day we like we went to the clay pits and it was i was pooping my pants i was so scared i was like 11 i thought i was gonna get oh murdered God. like I thought, I thought we were gonna die like this is where we go was to die dad like come on yeah no he i mean dad's like israeli military tough guy he's okay. thinking of it he's fine but um so we go and we're just like look it's like in the woods you're supposed to turn off on the highway in the woods <laughs> in the middle of this town and we went into the woods and it turned out to just be the sickest dirt bike like path of all time. And we spent the entire afternoon oh just like God. doing jumps and like hanging out. And then it became this place that like we could hang out. And it was just so cool. And then like a month later, someone bought the property and started building houses. No. And the whole rumor like overnight just it was like, oh, the clay pits Vanished. are not a scary place. Do you think place. people made it up so that no one else would find the trails? I was speaking to one of my parents' friends who grew up in the same town, and he was like, the clay pits? You mean where the KKK meets? And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, we had the same rumor when we were kids, too. One day we just went and explored it and realized that it was not scary at all. Well, it was like a generational thing that everyone. Oh what did they name the subdivision that they built on it? I don't know. It's White just... Settlement. <laughs> <laughs> They're like Paradise Gardens yeah. or something. There's I don't a, know. There's a town outside of Texas called White Settlement. Is that oh. wild? Yeah, that's wild. I mean, there's Plantation, Florida, where like Zane and Heath are from. South Plantation. Insane. <laughs> Insane. But yeah, yeah so no, like that's but... what I'm saying is, did you have? In, I feel yeah, like it's I mean, an East Coast no thing. No KKK meetings, but it was like. I would never go there, but so like a quarry is basically like they start digging something and Rocks. then rain, rain just fills it up and it's like obviously disgusting water and people would go and like cliff jump in there. I did that. But like there could be like you don't know what's under or there. Or how so deep it's like, it is. Exactly. So it's super dangerous and people would go, but they were risking a lot. And I we, I was told like your parents were like, don't go. go there. Right. Yeah. But did you ever sneak out no. and you were like, I also was like way too scared. I was like, this is like <laughs> the water's like not even the it's like blue. Like it's it just looks like gorgeous. oily. Oh, wait. And like <laughs> wet. Our quarry, there was a quarry outside of McKinney. Don't ever, ever go there. Do not. Like it, the KKK but, meets there. But when I was younger, me and three friends, we broke into it because someone posted a picture of it, like on like MySpace, and we're like, "That's in the Dallas area." It looked like it was like you were like in the Bahamas, jumping yeah. off a cliff. That's how blue the water was, and it was in our town. And so, well, we drove out there and we broke in and we cliff jumped and it was one of the biggest cliffs I've ever jumped oh, off of. Oh my God. How and many it, feet? Like, it, I would call it a two thought long jump, meaning like you jump and then you're like, gosh, I'm still in the air. <laughs> oh and then God. you like hit the water. Yeah. Like it was that oh, long of a jump and we had to like climb out and we did it once, but like it was so 
risk. We could have died. Yeah. Like well, it was like, like it was a rock really down stupid. there or something. But yeah, I jumped off that quarry. Damn. We also had a rope swing in our town that was it was at the res, so that was our reservoir and the res was also a place where like people would meet up at night. But so the rope swing was also a like probably don't do that. Like people will get hurt <clears throat> on it cuz you have to like a lot of the time swim across the res to get there unless you had like a kayak or something so like that was pretty dangerous Whoa. but another weird like historic thing was lots of woods where i grew up yeah and like when i was a kid we'd always just like go play in the woods and multiple times we found houses in the woods that were just like stone <gasps> and like fully like fucked up and abandoned burnt down abandoned like not big big homes uh -huh. like homes big enough for a witch <laughs> like, yeah so Whoa. we were like oh these are definitely Could you ever like, go in one yeah there's like no door it's literally like all fall into the ground and you just see like a wall and then like just, yeah. half a wall that and like you can see like a fireplace mind. yeah so we we're like these are definitely where like settlers lived or wow. witches or like like that history is so yeah. crazy to see in person like and i want just to go there, there. yeah whoa you're just like on a hiking trail and you see stuff like that all the time yeah and there's just abandoned stuff Damn. from just the olden days and like yeah. in my there's there was a tons of abandoned houses in the woods by my house too and they were like these were from probably like the early 1900s not that old but like i remember walking into one and we walked up to the second floor and there just wasn't a second floor and we were like okay we should probably this is crazy because it's just been rotting away any other fun facts from your town uh, my hometown is where they shot barney really? the dinosaur <laughs> Yeah, they shot the show in Carrollton. That Every is so rare. Like, oh, that's yeah. where the, most, that's most the episodes. Um, it's over like off Marsh Lane and like, like the right is? near Addison. <laughs> you know what? You the gazebo in Carrollton. No, in Barney, don't they like? Oh, go it's, it's, a it's a set. It's a set. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want to do. Valid question. <laughs> Barney's a set. Um, yeah, they shot it in Carrollton, and. Um, Keeley's is headquartered in Carrollton, oh. Texas. Oh my God. How it, big is, how many people are in Carrollton? I think like 150,000, 200,000 people. Oh, that's a big town. Holy that's shit. That's huge. I think there was like 4,000 people in my town. That's it? Tiny. Twin Rivers is tiny. It's like one square mile, the whole town. What? Oh my God. Yeah, it's 12. Real, 12 square miles? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and we had. We want to do square miles? The current population of mine is like 18,000. Uh, but I when I lived up. there, it wasn't that many. I remember like there was early nine, maybe early 2000s, late 90s. Like we weren't on the maps. Like in, when you would buy a map of New Jersey, Twin Rivers just wasn't on the map because it was just literally like this little block. And then one day they like printed the new edition of the maps and we were on the map. And I remember that was like a big deal in our like, town. Whoa. Like, wow, Twin Rivers is on the map because you would always we try. And, yeah. <laughs> Carrollton is 37 square miles. That's huge. Oh. Let me let me double check my, my numbers on oh, that. Oh man. What's your po the population? Let me just check right now. Dang. Pull that up. 133,000. It's the 23rd most populous city in Texas. That's crazy. That's a uh, damn. See for me 133,000 like, people? But like I guess for me that seems small cuz I think like or Texas there's like Frisco, Plano sure, and those yeah. are like huge compared oh, to like Oh my god. How, did you have so obviously you had multiple like schools in your town like i had five schools total in my town like pre-k elementary high school middle school like five total oh, oh. we have four high schools <laughs> four high schools four, in carrollton oh four high God. schools but like in like two middle schools for like each high school and then like four like three that's so wild four elementary schools for each one of those so middle when you schools. were growing up were you always like uh, oh well i guess it goes by like where you live yeah so you never were like oh i hope i get to go to this one you could you could swap you Districts. could go technically i think to any school in the district but if you moved outside of the district line one of your parents had to work for the district and then you could stay oh, oh my god that's working. so wild yeah. 1.3 square miles is yours yeah. huh? <laughs> population is oh 7700 right now and it was probably less when i lived 7, there 7000 yeah. oh my god omaha is like Oh, but almost half a million <laughs> people. Yeah, four hundred eighty-seven thousand. So you're I thought like a Omaha city. would have a million people. Two really? million. I, it's Omaha, Nebraska. I know it's big. <laughs> but did it feel like a small town, or you didn't live no. like in a city? No, no, it did not. It does not feel like a small town at Do all. Do you ever wish you grew up somewhere else? No, I think I had the best potential, like best possible. You don't wish you like grew up in like. <laughs> Like, like a like a city proper. Like you, when she grew up in Manhattan as like a Manhattan kid. 
I, I have friends who have like Jack coin grew up in Manhattan and he's like one of the coolest people in the world. I think if you do grow up in a cool place like that, it definitely affects you. But I, I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd want to live like in a big city like that or just being a child. you want to be able to go, go into the woods and go across town and ride your bikes and go to the yeah. skate park and climb a, climb a roof of like a school, you know, you want to just get into trouble. If you're I in agree. New York city, well, I got to refill my subway pass at eight years old. Like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, take an elevator fun. downstairs. Yeah, like, yeah, take an elevator. <laughs> fuck that. I think it's really cool, but it's I, cool. Not I for love me, the though. way I grew up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. same. Wouldn't yeah. trade it. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. As I, but as I get older, sometimes do you want your kids to have a similar childhood to what you had or you want to give them something different? That's a good question. I don't want children. I know. Say so like, mm. <laughs> or like I, I think about like Jess grew up in New Zealand. That's insane. Yeah. You know, thinking about growing up in a different country and then coming here. Yeah. What that whole perspective shifts. Like I like that I'm not that the world is not that crazy for me because I grew up in New Jersey. A lot of people are from the Northeast. I can like fit in or yeah. try to fit in. I feel like if I grew up somewhere insane, I would be even weirder than I am. Like Which, imagine growing up here in, in LA. LA. Yeah, it's I probably wild. wild to me. Or like growing up in a place that is a tourist town, like growing yeah. up in, you know, Costa Rica, eh, not Costa Rica, but like, I don't know, somewhere that's like, or like growing up in Orlando, oh. where you're like Disney World is just yeah, the, the thing. There. Mm -hmm. there, like, was, I, there was someone that I met, but isn't it funny when like you're just not meeting someone or you've known them for a long time and then you figure out where they're from, you're like. It kind of changes how you like thought. That's of how them. everyone reacts to me. <laughs> no, yeah, they yeah. say Omaha. They're like, "What?" I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Well, like I had a there was like a buddy that like I've been becoming good friends with over like the past like year or whatever, and I always thought like, "Oh, we're very similar guys." He's probably from like North Carolina or like Chicago, but like su he's like a suburb kind of kid. And then we were talking the other day, and I'm like, "So where did you grow up again? Where was it?" And he goes. I we were in Venice. He goes, I grew up like literally just a couple blocks away from here. I'm like, you grew up in Venice? And he goes, Yeah, like my whole childhood. And it just completely yeah, changed. It makes no sense. I'm like, you grew up in Venice? Like, yeah, that's why? weird. Huh? Like that to me is like I know weird yeah. thinking about people who, like well, grew up in like so many people here are just transplants. So it's like, yeah, how did you grow up here? And like all the traffic to get to school? Yeah, in the morning, like God. Well, I would like to say the Reuben sandwich was invented in Omaha. Oh, my so. God. What is a Reuben sandwich? Like pastrami. It's yeah. ravioli, like... elephant tusk. Okay. Oh, <laughs> mammoth. That was terrible. <laughs> I was like. I couldn't think of a quick analogy. <laughs> no, I literally was like, since when? <laughs> ravioli. Why did that laughing like that. <laughs> I actually don't know exactly. I don't think anybody knows what's in it a Reuben. It says it was invented in Omaha. We don't care what New Yorkers say. Oh. During a late night poker game at the Blackstone Hotel, <laughs> a local grocer was asked to ante up and create a new dish. The available ingredients resulted in the, the American menu staple. This is not, no. All right, a fun thing okay. I like to do with my hometown. So you know Google Street View? Yeah. Yes. Where you can like go down all the streets. Uh -huh. Do you know if you're on desktop, you can go up to the top left and click uh, uh, the timeline, and you can go back from like what now? It's like twenty twenty two. Mm -hmm. You can go to like two thousand and seven. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. So, and what's cool is you can go back in those years, and you can go back to like your old houses, and sometimes you can see <laughs> like you used your to dad there. out like mowing the lawn yeah. or your old car or something. I think you we've can... talked about this, and I went home and did it, and like I didn't see anything. But that's such a <laughs> crazy thought to like. Yeah. Oh, my car. That's just my there. first car was there. Yeah. Or like a moment captured in time that no one else would really ever see. Weird. Yeah. Sometimes it's it's so frustrating when something in your hometown that you used to have such a bond with is no longer there. And so all you have is the memory and, and then memories start to fade for a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. So you feel sometimes really alone with what you can remember. But it's sometimes fun going on like your hometown's like weird facebook groups oh yeah and then i'm in one of those <laughs> instead of like i don't go on there to like post anything to be yeah. like y'all remember this i just go to the search bar and type in the things i remember to read other people talking about what mm -hmm. i remember if that makes sense mm -hmm. it's kind of fun yeah. like old businesses no, or like I love restaurants that, that used to be there uh-huh someone in my high school facebook <laughs> group uh, they posted like a month ago what is everyone up to in the 10 years since we grew or whatever it's been since we graduated and it's just like reading everyone oh i'm married with two kids i'm i live in california now i love this like it's like i had a dream last night i'm jumping all over the place so i had a dream last night that i was in my old house too just like putting yourself back in those places like i can't even believe that i'm the same person 
that like yeah. lived in that town, like in that house, like all these people know who you are from your hometown and like they still are that same person like 20 years later. Yeah. It's just like, oh, my God, like this person I haven't thought of in 10 years <laughs> is still that person. Yeah. And I'm just like I like kind of freaked out about it one time. I was like, well, that's insane. Do your parents still live in your hometown? No, they've moved uh, not in the hometown, but like it's all central Jersey is where we okay. like grew up. So it's all within the same area. Do yours? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yep. They Ours do. I love yeah. it. I know. Do you guys like does sometimes that I want to say, does that hurt? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. No, it's like the most annoying that thing. you can never like go home. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big and, inconvenience because even if you do want to go to you have to make a whole trip for yourself to go out there. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's no hotels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's no hotels in Ashland, Mass. Can't you crash at like a friend's place? None of my friends live there. Oh, shit. The parents so it's house? Like a, literally, I have one friend whose parents still lives there. Everyone else has moved Damn. out. Damn. Yeah, it's great. So like me and my four best friends, all of our families have basically like left. All our parents have like retired or moved somewhere else. And then most of them live in the city or in other states. So it's like nothing. But I have like my best friend, her sister still lives there and like has a house. So it's like nice to go see them. But it's really weird. Like going back, you just feel like a wanderer right. yes, like where do yes. i'm a nomad Main like i don't character. have a i don't have a home <laughs> yeah that's like a real american i think it's like a human thing is this idea that when you grow up you want to go back home but it's yeah. not it's not the same because your home's not the same you're not the same your parents aren't yeah. the same you could you can never go home totally once you leave one but time and then you bon never had a song who says you can't go home it's all right it's all right <laughs> so <laughs> true no one yes. says it's, you can't uh, go back take the boy from his home okay <laughs> Yeah, it's really sad. It's yeah. so weird. Because, like, I, I love my town. And, like, I wish I could go back. They just ripped it away. They ripped <laughs> it away from you. I get nostalgic. Like, I feel like I want to go to Omaha. But I feel like once I'm there, I'd be like, okay. You know? I know. Sometimes I, like, hype it up. Or, like, I have, yeah. I don't, when I get in my hometown, I, I usually, like, I get on my bike. And I go all down memory lane. I go, oh, like, sweet. I go back to all my friends' old houses. Is or, it the I, same bike? The no, my, oh. no, no, no. My dad has my dad has like six bikes. Like wow. my dad is like a cyclist. Biker guy, yeah. yeah. So oh, wow. he we always have plenty of bikes if you ever want to come over and get on a bike. Oh, that sounds we, fun. That'll oh, be a fun you trip. You love it. And I usually like I have like a whole route of like how I used to like ride my bike and I go back and just see everyone's house and I try to suss things out, see if anything's changed, yeah. make some mental notes. That actually sounds like fun because I used to ride my bike around my neighborhood too. So it's like oh, if yeah. I did that now, I feel like I'd be like, whoa. When I take crazy. Patricia there, like I take all these long, weird routes because I'm like, I have to go through this neighborhood. I have to see this. I can't take the roads because she's like, is this how you get <laughs> yeah. everywhere? And I go, no, I'm just, it's so nostalgic for me yeah, right now. Yeah. I have to like... I don't know, visualize it. Yeah. Um, but okay. I also like when I go home, I'm kind of like conflicted. I really want to go into like my childhood home. My parents moved into a new mm -hmm. house right when I was like a freshman in high school. Okay. But my childhood house, I really want to go to. And I want, I should, sometimes just should I go knock? Should I go leave a note going, hey, I'm in town for these dates? Leave like your number. And be like, I really would like to come see into the home just so they can like i don't know tidy up but do you want to do that and like change your memory of the house like are you are you not scared that that will now become the memory of your old house no, I, I would don't... oh but for you it could be triggering because what if it's terrible inside? yeah that's what i'm saying like, like what if they fucked it up and yeah. the interior the kitchen, and not now it's... this lamp <laughs> oh no 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 it wouldn't be anything like that Dude, in, the, in the neighborhood we lived in it's like you know it's like that tracked housing like it's like five different floor plans I, oh. I'm always on Zillow looking at people who had our floor plan just to see what they did with it. Yeah. Because it's just interesting looking at what other people did. Yeah. But I just want to go like stand in the backyard. I want to go like stand in my room. And I know it, it's going to be weird because of how tall I am too. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. The perspective of freak, when you were a little kid changed. It's going to freak me out. But like I just don't know the appropriate way of like going I think you just back. knock on the door and be like, hey, you still live here. Is it cool if I come by? Oh, not right now. Eric. I'm in town for the next few days. Don't leave a note. That's insane. Okay. We're going to think they're getting robbed. Yeah, they <laughs> probably like think it's yeah. oh, I'm like, oh, that's normal. <laughs> Just like... There's a funny video with like uh, Jennifer Lopez where she tries to go to her oh, old yeah. apartment and they're like, oh, it's like an old, <laughs> you can do it. She's like, oh, I used to live here. And he's like, and she goes, who are you? And she goes, 
I'm J Lo, and she goes, I don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Just humbled. Do you, that has to be kind of weird though, like living. What if you were like lived in like Robin Williams' childhood home? Like someone does. I'm sorry, yeah. I just brought that name out of it. But like yeah, someone somebody does. Somebody does though. Yeah. But what a weird like. Like yeah. I, I'm not saying it's like a lottery, but what a weird like yeah, coincidence. Just coincidence, and then that kind of like, or like someone who achieves so much greatness just grew up. Yeah. Lived in your in room, yeah. house. and then you feel like, do I have to achieve some greatness? <laughs> or like, <laughs> or Albert Einstein used to live in Princeton, where I was born. Like, someone lives in Albert Einstein's old That's home. That's wild. It's insane. It's probably Crazy. redone, but <laughs> yeah, probably uh, apartments in New York are like that too. This is oh, oh this is yeah. Jerry Seinfeld's apartment, or this is uh, whoever. Ugh. Mine's so weird because my parents moved not that long ago, probably like four years ago from my childhood home but my basement has always been unfinished and my dad collected pinball machines so it would be like a hundred pinball it was a literal arcade down there insane and so my mom sent me the listing or she sent me photos of the house i can't remember what it was i think the people who moved in and like did did like redid stuff sent them photos and the basement is like completely done with like oh my God. a wow. living room it's like a whole nother thing and it's just wild for me to see because i'm like what i yeah. can't even picture how this came to be wow. that's what i want to see about my house because my house was old and like my parents didn't really ever change much right and like same like we had an old very old unfinished basement like the ceilings were like all scary open. yeah spooky um, god unfinished basements are so fucking scary yeah it's just like Mine normal on fun. the east coast i just love a basement yeah <laughs> like, you know, never, no one had it's them like, in texas so we don't have them here oh, either oh yeah because yeah, yeah, you here. hit you hit clay too early oh. in texas and the only people who had basements is if like they lived on like a hill or oh. something or they don't have them here because of the earthquakes right probably I, I think that's why because if there was an earthquake then the house falls into the hole oh, oh. and so you have the foundations are much well, more secure I feel like they can probably build houses now where it's okay maybe now yeah but they're not building yeah, new yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. but I'm, ugh, man i miss a basement basements are like that's where we would hang out with all our friends yeah because you you can also be like loud at night because yeah. then you have a, a whole story between you and your parents yeah what about your elementary school Okay, I I always get the cringe thing where like, uh, you know, you just graduated and you go back to high school and stuff oh, to yeah, like yeah. go walk around and. Did you ever do that? No. Oh, um, I want if to. If I did, it was it, this. It was because I was like asked to come and like coach the new theater kids for something. Those are the time I was there for a purpose. I, I don't think I went to my high school. I would love to walk through. But I want to go through my old elementary school. But now I realize I'm 30 years old. I can just say, <laughs> thinking about moving to the area and raising a family. Show me the elementary wow, school. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just go like, oh, I went here. Would love to see what it's like. I could maybe show up with a backpack and be like, I'm yeah. entering sixth grade. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm such a creep when I go back to my hometown. I will go ride my bike and look in the I've windows done this. in I've elementary school. Well, no, because it's so nostalgic. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, oh my God, I remember this. They're oh, like, school, we're like, on the club. look for a man. He's about 6'1". <laughs> Blonde hair. He's been pe the peeper. While yeah. the kids are in, in class? Or no, just no, like in, it's the holidays. Like, post, oh, like, okay, okay. okay. No, I love, like, it's the nostalgia. Yeah. I love it all. I'm like, what does it look like now? God, I don't care I... about the kids. Like, yeah. I would, that's a pro that probably would be fun to, like, walk around. I would want to walk around, though, while, like, my high school, while it's going on. Yeah. And just, like, like, to see, to, like, like pop in and see and the teachers that are still there. Yeah. Hey, remember me? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you later. I don't think I'm going to know any. Oh, I'm making like, my high school. I know a few teachers, but. Um, and just, like, the you... smell. Oh yeah. yeah. Do you like, have any time capsules anywhere? No. No, I no. wish. Do you? No. Oh, you seem like someone who would one hundred percent have a time I capsule. I did try to I did try to bury a time capsule in my backyard at like our old house, but it was like in a Tupperware thing and I think it like it leaked. <laughs> and, and then when like we moving, she's like, You need to go dig that up and it was just oh, no. all disintegrated oh, no. and everything. It leaked. But I I, I I left like a burn C D. I'm pretty sure I can remember everything that was in it, so like yeah. nothing nothing too nostalgic. Yeah. But I know I always like feel kind of left out about the whole time capsule. I know. I feel like thing. that'd be so crazy. Should we start one now? <laughs> we'll just remember it. Though. I feel like at this point, if we do something, you'll remember it. It'll be like, documented somewhere. Yeah. I want to go to like the opening of a time capsule just to like feel the See? energy of the room. <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. yeah. How, how exciting could it be, though? Like, what are they, they going to have in there? Oh, a notebook. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just I want to feel. But when it's the... yours, it's like what? Yeah, I feel like it would only be good if it was around people that you like shared those experiences with or like lifetime with. I, it's just the energy of the room. Yeah, but what if people opened it and like, were like whoa. crying? What if they were like sad? Oh, well, then I <laughs> <laughs> different kind of energy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, we got a story that I thought was pretty funny. My senior year of high school, we got voted as the drunkest town in <laughs> Connecticut. <laughs> The Facebook moms were up in arms about it, but of course we loved it and took full advantage of it. A group of kids a few years older than me turned it into a whole brand. They made t-shirts and merch that said CT Booze Champs that they sold through an Instagram page. Our high school fan page, The Red Sea, motto was, win or lose, we still booze. (laughs) Then there's an article she linked. She said, it's obviously super silly and no one took it too seriously, but it was fun at the time. A great conversation starter once we got to college. And honestly, it still comes up pretty frequently this many years later so that's what they were known for yeah they had a whole article but like imagine being a senior in high school and you're just like win or lose we We still still booze yeah Yeah. that's really funny yeah like the whole town was known for that yeah being the drunkest town that sounds (laughs) iconic Ugh, that sounds rough to like grow up as a kid there like god can i someone just drive me to my soccer practice please and then we're not boozing until we're schmoozing like that's not even the phrase dad ah, all right son they called our high school crack view crack, crack view, view? Well, we were trashland trashland yeah yeah but that was only like hoppington really but nobody was smoking crack in high school but Maybe. people were doing cheese heroin we were the, in the dallas what's area cheese heroin pretty sure it's like well, I don't know the recipe. I think it's like Tylenol PM or it's like some form of like synthetic heroin. Go but on. In, in, the, in the early 2000s, yeah. there was a string of deaths in like the Dawes area. Like I, tons of they weren't in my grade, but like years like when I was in middle school, a bunch of the high school kids were dying because they were doing cheese heroin. Whoa. Yeah. So God. I will. it's a kind of thing where like I would go st- and meet like other people's like parents and I would tell them I went to Creekview and they'd be like a lot of deaths at that school oh. right like it was that Yikes. kind of thing where like it was embarrassing that's like, scary yeah okay Do you, was your high school known for anything no we had, i had the best high school experience a uh, human being could have it was amazing it's, yeah i loved high and we school. were the patriots that was our we took the boston football i, I didn't know yeah. until i got to college that that was a football team I know. would you send your kids to your high school would i send my kids to my high school yeah. i have no idea i would i would they just have to live in new jersey though yeah I know I'm not thinking about that, but well, just oh yeah, you. that high school was incredible. Because the cheese crack. <laughs> it was I don't know. My, yeah. It was like it was. I would say it was like intense. It could have been a lot worse, but like I'm happy. I like I got out of my high school. Like you would, like, ne- would you ever move back to your a lot hometown? Of my friends, a lot. Of, I knew a lot of friends who got arrested. Like oh, who's what? like yeah 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 dude there was like just like a lot of drugs like we were pushing it like getting by on some stuff <laughs> oh my god we were and I was like so close to like where I like ooh I could there was like a moment where I realized like my friends were dealing weed and they were making money but I wasn't making like money I was working at Chuck E Cheese <laughs> and they were like making money dealing drugs and I yeah. could, I thought like there was a moment I would have never done it but I there was a moment where I was like. Well, fuck! If I if I dealt drugs, I could be making more money. Oh yeah, like, that's how I get started. But the, but that's where I was. I was like, no. I'm glad I got out of that because it was like three or four of like really close friends I knew were dealing drugs. Chuck E. Cheese save your life. Yeah, <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese himself. But I don't want to make it seem like I'm bad mouthing my hometown. Why? Does that sound? Well, my question is, would you ever move back there to like uh, raise your family? No, no, no. But I always will still visit. I will still love it. But yeah. I no, I wouldn't. But I hope, but I hope for the best for that town. I'm all, I'm, I'm still following the page. I'm still, I'm I hope still. For the best. I'm curious about who's running for mayor. I am. Oh, very, you're a mayor. Yeah. Oh yeah. Our mayor, like we yeah. have like a town hall. Our mayor. <laughs> Our mayor, like lived down the street. Wow. Yeah. Um, this person said, back in the town that I grew up in, there was a local pizza joint, Matt's Pizza, coincidentally. Ooh. I only ever ate there once or twice before I moved away. But a few years later, I met up with an old friend who told me about its dark secret. <gasps> Apparently, if you went there after 7 p.m., I believe, and ordered extra anchovies on your pizza, a lady of the night would come out for you. Wow. Yeah. wow. 7 p.m. isn't even like dark. Like, <laughs> this time of year it is. Yeah. Extra anchovies? Yeah. What does it mean? Lady of the night is like a, like a prostitute. Yeah. yeah. Probably a little HJ or At something. Matt's Pizza? Matt's Pizza. While you ate the pizza? Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> we had a bar in our town. I don't think it's there anymore. It's, it was called Fusion, and like it was known for letting every single person drink underage. And it was like an Asian restaurant, and it was rumored that it was all like a big drunk a drug front. And it has since shut down. Oh, like money laundering. Yeah, because they would like let everyone just like drink. Yeah, they just underage. Oh. They didn't care about anything. The police were always there. Like it was a. What do you have to order at Matt's Pizza? Extra anchovies? <laughs> yeah, just gonna, anchovies, I'm just gonna yes. note that down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a place in. I feel like this is such an Omaha name, but we had a pizza place called Pizza Ranch. <laughs> That's a pretty good name. I think that there was like a theme park inside or something. Oh, fun. Inside a pizza place? Yeah, it was called oh. Pizza Ranch. But like, we also have ranch with pizza. That's a yeah. good Yeah, yeah, And it's like a ranch. I like that. Oh, I like that. Let's it sounds, to me, it sounds very Midwest. Is it still there? Uh, I don't, probably. It was like newer when I pizza was ranch. older. I asked Aaron the other day, did you guys have a Gordman's? No. Is this a pizza place? No, it's no. a it's like no, a Coles. We lived in society. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to show you the font of it, Matt. You're gonna be like, no, it's so. That's why I was like, what is this? It looks like it's like a, a like Joanne's a, Fabric or like an AC Moore store. AC Moore Arts yeah. and Crafts. Are they yeah. around? AC, no, I've never heard of that. They've since shut down. I believe. Uh, I like, know. look at the font. Like, doesn't oh, it look? It looks like, like <laughs> it looks like like Libby Lou or like yeah. Lemon yeah. Two. It, it was basically That's like a Kohl's. grocery store. No, it's like a Kohl's kind of place. But oh, like, God, it used to be called Half Price Store, and then it changed it to <laughs> Gordman's <laughs> Half Price Store. Yeah, it was just called that. <laughs> but it's uh, very funny. Yeah. No. Um. Okay. Do you guys have a Mr. Gaddy's Pizza? No. no. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, we didn't have like any ch- real chains. We had like a Dunkin' Donuts. And then our chain pizza. Oh, we had Domino's. We mm. did have Domino's. Well, that was on the, the other side of town. Yeah. The five minute drive <laughs> to the other side of town. Across town. town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we had um, Papa Gino's. That was on our side of town. Mm-hmm. Did that you guys have that? sounds so familiar. Papa it does Gino's? sound familiar. Mm-hmm. That was our like chain pizza. It sounds like it's really good. It was It sounds fine. Italian. That's why. I didn't really like it. I think it was because we grew up with like mom and pop like pizza sub shops so yeah. i never really ate like i never had Domino's until i went to college i always was like ew like this isn't real pizza yeah because yeah. i was eating like the best pizza yeah right yeah um capitalism oh. mm. let's go to Strikes pizza again. ranch <laughs> did you guys like your local libraries <laughs> oh yes what kind of question are you asking? i loved my local library what? yeah That's matt's dream visiting everyone's no. hometown to go to their local library it made well, me feel like depressed I, I miss my local library why because i don't like good fond memories of being you, there oh, okay. i we would go every week and you can get movies and and like tapes for yes. free from the library and that's what we would do like to instead of going to blockbuster like mm. just go to the library and rent a movie i think we rented space balls for like a year straight oh my god we would just go and watch space balls every week on tape yeah i oh. spent a lot of time at my library but i did go to other I think it was just really small, but I would get I would go to other libraries and get like I Love Lucy. Oh, yeah, you can get tape. TV shows, tapes, mm-hmm. and then in the summer, like I would always go at the beginning of summer and get like a bunch of books that I was going to read for the summer. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I loved oh, the my library. God. On a summer day, I loved going to the library. It's the best. Could, it was just like I... super air conditioned. You could like yes, stay there for hours, and it's like quiet. Hanging and... on the library during the summer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You like you like riding your bike all around town. You're sweaty. Like it's chaotic, and then you just like you know what? Let's just go zen out at the library my God. park your bike outside it's air conditioned you feel that blast of cool air librarian's like Shit. oh hello welcome back oh my God. did you go to the rec D? did you go to your rec centers at all I no i didn't have a rec center. rec center like recreation, oh, recreation center. center like a like lifetime fitness <laughs> no no like no. a ymca type of place the, like you're, you're, okay your city ha- like most cities i don't think we had a rec center. center there's definitely a rec center in omaha and in, there's rec in ashland center? no Oh, I guess maybe oh, not. I don't know. Oh, right. We had like is let me it, Google it. Community phrase? center, but that was for like old people. No, I get the phrase. I went to the rec center all the time. Like a JCC. You can go play ping pong, basketball. Do you have to pay for you can it? Go work out. Or is um, it like no? I think if it's the... the town one, you don't have to pay for. For the gym, I, you had to pay for. But like you go play pickup games of basketball for free for sure. Oh, I Sometimes... guess there's like okay, they're called like community centers. Yeah, yeah that's sure. what we had, but it was literally for old people. <laughs> what about? I would go to the uh, JCC. JCC, Sometimes. yeah. What about the, your public pools? Yeah, did you go I... to those a lot? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Every... Didn't have one of those. <laughs> no public pool. <laughs> what? No. You have to go to other towns. Whoa. I saw something that Trashville, huh? <laughs> Trashland. Trashland. Get it right. Yeah, Trash that, world. No, going yeah. to the public pool, that was like every day in the summer. That was the best. 
Oh, it was yeah. okay. Now they, I just now, went to I friends' really, houses <laughs> yeah, that are, had pools. They oh. just put a lazy river in like our Ooh, new public pool. And I'm like, oh my God, what? I want to go just like pay just to walk around it. But I don't want to spend river. the whole day there. But I'm just. Yeah. Just, go for an hour. Yeah. Have a mojito. <laughs> Do they survive? I want to go around my whole hotel. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, <laughs> I, think, I think I'm like a huh? hotel. No, I'm gonna I want to go back go. to my hometown. When, like, or I'm going to go to everything when I go home. <laughs> this is the plan. Cool. Well, thanks for watching another episode of Good Influences. Be sure to follow, like, subscribe, email us, leave comments, and all that stuff. <laughs> follow us on Instagram, TikTok, yes. YouTube. All the places. All the places. And we'll yeah. see you next week. See you on Tuesday. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.